Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be a very simple yet exciting one in which we're going to learn to paint a face such as this one and make it look like this. So let's get started. Alright, so I have this image opened in Photoshop and I also have another image with paint strokes opened. So I'm going to come to my paint strokes image and pick the move tool or press the shortcut V to select it. Now I'm going to click anywhere on the image, hold and drag to the other image that's opened and drop it. Rather release the left mouse key. Using the move tool, we can move the image the way we want or even resize it. Let's hit Command T on a Mac or Control T on a PC to activate free transform. Actually, since this image is too large, let me zoom out. Okay, now we can see the handles around, so click one of the corners and resize the image as illustrated. Then click the other corner and modify the size of this image to mirror the size of the actual image sitting underneath. Once you've sized up the image, click the tick on top to come out of the free transform mode. With the top layer selected, let's change the blending mode of this image to multiply. What multiply does is that it darkens colors while preserving the shadows in layers below it. Next, let's click the Add a Mask button at the bottom of the Layers panel to create a mask. Select the mask and you can see it's white. So let's change the foreground color to black to make changes to it. To do that, you can either click the small bi-directional arrow just next to it or just hit the shortcut X to switch the background color. Once our foreground color is black, let's pick the brush tool and in short, choose the soft brush. And remember to increase the brush size, all we need to do is press the right bracket. And to reduce it, the left bracket. In short, to use the appropriate brush size, otherwise you're going to struggle unnecessarily. Now, our objective is to remove the paint from her lips and teeth. So start painting the areas to remove the unnecessary colors. You can see how the mask is turning black on the areas we are painting. Once done with the lips, let's remove the paint from the eyes as well. Be careful at the edges and use the appropriate brush size. Now let's remove the paint from the background. I can very easily increase or decrease the brush size using right or left bracket like I mentioned earlier, depending upon the size of the areas I'm working on. Let me also remove the paint from her ear. Okay, let's just say after erasing the paint from her ear, I realized I made a mistake and would like the paint back. So all I need to do is switch the black foreground with the white one using one of the methods I mentioned earlier and brush over the ear and the paint will return as if it was never gone. So there's no permanent damage done anyway as we are working on a mask. So this is the original image and this is after the paint on. Do let me know what you think about it in the comments. Hope you've learned something new today and have enjoyed this tutorial, so do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.